Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is my next video for you. This is the PLS Assassin 120 SE White ARGB air cooler from Thermorite versus the Noctua NH-U12S Redux. They're both at the same price, so let's see which one performs the best. Right, I got benchmarks here, so first of all, I did the Noctua NHS NH U12S Redux first. I did a Cinebench R23 run for 10 minutes. The idles are 31, the max hit the 63 in the Celsius. Uh, 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were the 34 Celsius, the max was a uh, 56. Impressive, again. Uh, that was run for three times. Um, 10 minutes test for Furmark, the idles are 31, the max was a 64. Now, what you get with the Noctua air cooler is you get quality as well it's a lot quieter also the overall design is built better also a lot less cables better compa uh, compatibility as well for ram so the pls assassin argb same test for cinebench r23 10 minutes the idols are 29 and the max was a 59 celsius i couldn't believe that that was amazing 3D Mark CPU test, the idle was 31, the max was a 51, again it beat it. And Furmark 10 minutes uh, test as well, the idle was a 30, the max was 61. The problems with uh, both air coolers is you the cons as well as the pros. Now the cons are the PLS Assassin's a lot louder, it's also much bigger, it's also a lot bigger, so you're going to have compatible compatibility issues with certain tall ram also it's got a lot more cables as well as the fans on this are very noisy and the cables they are they you know it, it, it's the cable management that's the problem but the pros pros are it's got rgb it performs better also i personally i like the thermal right argb pls assassin it's one of my best coolers what, that's what I said in my review, which I'll make sure to put up by here. Now, with the um, the Noctua air cooler, the, the, the pros, it's a fantastic quality. It's a lot quieter, and the overall design as well as it's built better, and also less cables. And also, Noctua are known for their mountain, which Thermorite has kind of copied, but that's the good thing about their cons. I'd say maybe the lack of ARGB, that's probably the only thing I'd say because it performs fantastic for a single fan cooler. So that's the end of the benchmarks. Now overall, as you as I just said, the pros and cons of both air coolers. Both air coolers perform just fantastic. Obviously the PLS Assassin could perform better because it's also a bigger, it's a dual tower, it's got two fans, so that's it's going to produce much better performance results and obviously they both are around the same price now i have seen the noctua air cooler range between 43 pound and 52 pound it's exactly the same with the pls assassin sometimes it's 40 quid sometimes it's 50 so it all depends that's why i did this video because they're both around the same price category as well as both are similar because Thermorite and Noctua, they do similar air coolers to each other as well as Thermorite has copied their mountain. So, you know, that's just a good thing. I like the Noctua as well as the Thermorite mountain. It's a lot easier than most brands that <laughs> just do a horrible job. But, you know, that's just my personal preference. So, what I'm going to say is, yes, the Peerless Assassin outperformed the NH u 12s but might have outperformed it but also there isn't a massive gain now if it was like 10 to 15 degree difference i could say yes go buy the pls assassin instead but what i'm going to stay say is i'm going to stay in the middle and say both of them are brilliant fans at uh, air coolers for the price i will leave the link for both of them down below i will recommend both air coolers and not to a uh, U12S is a fantastic looking cooler. The overall design is beautiful. As Noctua is well known for their, their 
overall quality and performance. Just like Be Quiet, they are known for their quiet as well as German manufacturing and they look gorgeous as well. Now Thermorite are starting to hit the market with their air coolers and PLS Assassin is one of their most popular ones to buy. So if you want to buy one, I will leave the link down below. It helps me out. It gives me more um, chances so I can buy extra stuff because I bought the Noctua NHU12S on Amazon myself for £43 while it was on sale. But, you know, I, it, things that, won't, that companies can't send me, I will buy just to do videos for. Because at the end of the day, it's more content for you guys. But also, it's me testing a brand that I haven't worked with. So, overall, they're both fantastic air coolers. And I honestly recommend both. And that is really up to you. That's your decision. So, yeah. This is Richard from Welshy Tech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like as well as comment down below and check me out on my Discord as well as TikTok and Facebook. So, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.